Hey guys and girls, I'm James and welcome to my channel. Today we're taking a look at the X31 Skyrider from Home Depot of all places. I looked and I think Walmart has it too. And I thought maybe it was just a regional thing of the Home Depots here in Dallas Fort Worth to be, have these. But I looked, I even looked in Chicago and they, they have 43 of them at that Home Depot. And these are normally $50, but they're marked down to $29. So if you're like me or maybe you're not, you're going through some thrift store and you see some $20 or $30 drone but it looks really nice and you go fly it, it smashes into the wall and then you bring it home and it, you put it back in the box, you're gonna bring it back, but you never do and next year you throw it away. I just keep them so I can show you how bad they are. Well, I'm thinking that this one has to be the same, but I go into Home Depot every single day and if it's not good, I can just return it. For $30, I can see if it's any good. Well, guess what? It's fantastic. It really flies very, very well. I'll go show you outside in a minute. So like I said, they're $50, but marked down to $29. And so how good are they? Well, <laughs> I bought like 15 or 16 of them. So why do I buy so many of them? Well, they make great Christmas presents. Um, I give them to my clients' kids. I give them to the kids at work, the neighborhood kids. And a lot of people that know me want to learn how to fly a drone. Well, typically I start out with the HS210, but these are $38 on Amazon right now. So at $29, I can give them this one and they can take it home. It's got a camera on it. And how good does it fly? Well, let me go outside and I'll show you how good it flies. I think you'll be amazed. Then I'll show you a little bit of how to hook up the camera and the functions of the drone. And then I'll come back for my final review. Kind of sounds weird. Flies good though. Flies real good. I love the way the, the controls on the act. I mean, you know, with mini drones, what's so important is how do the controls feel? I mean, this thing flies, just, uh, they're fluid. Kind of reminds me of the DERC D50. Oh my goodness. All right. I think there's 16 of these at another Home Depot. I'm gonna go buy them all. What a, man. Wow. Holy moly. Really? 30 bucks? Wow. I wonder how, I, mean, I don't even care if it has a camera on it. This thing is a blast. Look at this. Really? Make sure it's recording. See, there's the wind. So it's not, you know, there's not a lot of wind today. I mean, look at this thing hold. I mean, this really flies good. All right. A camera. I mean, I wish it came, you're going to wish it came with extra batteries, but these little batteries that this uh, has are really easy to get. This is such a light drone that uh, I don't think you'd want to. Wow. I mean, how do they make this for 30 bucks? Look at this thing. Look at this thing hold. I mean, kind of, you'd almost think that it's got a, a it's almost a GPS zone or something. I don't know why the wind just doesn't blow it away. It seems to be doing really good. It's quick. It's not as fast as like the Holy Stone 110 or something, but man, I wish was, this was available on Amazon. Okay, how long is this battery gonna last? That's just a little bitty, tiny 400 milliwatt amp battery. <laughs> You know, lots of them, you gotta, you can't do this. So, will it flip backwards? Yeah, it'll flip any way you want. Let me try, so I've been flying it in speed three. Sometimes I get a gust of wind every once in a while. So let me try, all right, that's speed one. Ah, uh, see? Oh, this is so nice. Look at this. That's full blast in speed one. That's what you want as a beginner. Actually, it's kind of... 
So here's some video I took with the drone. As you can see, it's not stabilized at all. It's really bouncing all over the place. But for $30, you're not gonna get a drone with a good camera. But I was really surprised on how good of pictures it took. There's three at the end and you'll see how good they are. So let's go take the drone, go inside, go over the app and the features of the drone and how to get it up in the air. All right guys, so we're looking at the X31 Shockwave. I've actually already given away a couple of these. So let's see what she weighs. She weighs in at 81 grams. Do you know that's about exactly the same as a Tello, which is 83 grams, which is the same amount as a little huggy orange. So on the drone, it is kind of confusing. It does look like this would be the front of the drone, but this is actually the back of the drone because the camera points this direction. So it does come with the prop guards and they, and they pop right on and they do take screws to put them on, but it does come with a handy dandy screwdriver, comes with extra props. Uh, make sure you do get them in the right direction because the angle of attack is different and you see it is labeled A and B. And on the remote, this is how you turn it on and up here is your speed. It has got three speeds. You can turn it up and down right here and this is how you do a flip. So you push the flip and whichever direction you push it, it'll go. Right here is headless mode. Don't ever use that. It changes the orientation of the drone. The, the whole reason you're flying a drone like this is to learn how to fly. So right here, this reset button, um, that is to set your trim. So if the drone seems to be sliding to the left or to the right, so hold down on this button and push one of these trim buttons in the opposite direction of which way it's ever gonna go. It takes a little bit of practice, but you'll get the hang of it. So the battery's kind of hard to get in there. You gotta connect it. I would even just leave the battery in the drone while you're charging it. So you gotta like turn these wires and put them down like that, or this little compartment's not gonna close. Once you got it closed, here's your on off switch. So you turn the drone on, it's got really nice lights. Point the drone away from you, turn on the remote and what you do, so you have to bind this remote to, that, to the quadcopter. How you do that is up and down on this. And you see the lights quit blinking. Now you have to set the gyro on the drone and how you do that, make sure it's on a very level surface and push down and to the right on both of them. The blink and now it's set. <laughs> My dog thinks it's gonna take off. And you pull out on the joysticks and the props will start spinning. And then you can push up and take off. So it comes with a nice instruction book. You should read it and make yourself a pre-start checklist. So what you do is you go to page 16 to the QR code and match it to your Android or your Apple to your camera and it'll pull up this app. You download it. And while it's downloading, with the drone on, you go to your settings, go to your Wi-Fi, and you hit Skyrider. Then you go back to the app, open it up, hit start, and now you see the camera's working. So if you take the picture, it just saves it to your phone. And then when you start a video, it'll have a countdown right here. You have your speed switch on your remote, or you can do it right here. But I would just use the remote. I would just use this so you can see where the drone's flying. All right, so let's go back for a final review. So thanks so much for watching my review of the X31 Shockwave Skyrider. <laughs> so who is this drone for? Well, it, it's, it makes a great beginner drone, makes a great present, a great first drone, but it's also really good to have around. If it's been a few months and you haven't flown your really expensive drone, you can pull this one out, work on your muscle memory, kind of get warmed up. If you go play golf, you go out and get warmed up, right? Well, this could be your, your warm up drone just to go out there and fly it around. Plus it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy getting so much out of something so little and so cheap. And it's just amazing the technology that they can put inside these drones and sell something like this. What do I not like about the drone? Well, it's hard to get the battery in and out, kind of like the Holy Stone 200, and it only comes with one battery, but that battery is very common. It's in a lot of drones, and I think you can buy them really cheap because it's really important to start out with the beginner drone, like I've said in so many of my videos, to learn the orientation of a drone before you go out and buy an expensive one. So, like always, if you got something out of this, please like and subscribe. Subscribers mean everything to me in this channel, and I'll see you in the next one.